We start with reviewing Clause 11.1.1, Table 22, which specifies the maximum temperatures of parts in medical equipment. The first section covers winding insulation. We have Class A through Class H, and these are for equipment with windings such as transformers, motors, inductors, and others. These maximum temperatures have to be adjusted for the maximum equipment ambient conditions specified by the manufacturer. So if we are running a test at 25 degrees Celsius, and they have a maximum operating ambient of 40 degrees Celsius, then we would have to add 15 degrees Celsius to all of the measured temperatures to get to the maximum temperature to compare with the limits in the standard. The table also specifies components marked with a temperature rating, such as capacitors and other parts, which would use the maximum operating temperature for that component. Next, we have parts in contact with flammable liquids, where the limit is 25 degrees Celsius less than the flash point of the liquid. Finally, we have wood, where the specified limit is 90 degrees Celsius. Remember, all of these limits are for temperatures measured on internal components with the equipment running at the maximum ambient temperature or adjusted for the maximum ambient temperature. Maximum Temperature During Normal Use When running the temperature test on medical electrical equipment, it is operated in the worst-case normal use, including the maximum ambient operating temperatures, which are specified in the user manual. It can also be run at normal laboratory ambient, and the resulting temperatures are corrected for the specified maximum ambient. The equipment parts shall not reach temperatures exceeding the values given in Tables 22 and Table 23 on the next slide. The equipment shall not cause the surface of the test corner to exceed 9 degrees Celsius, and the thermal cutout shall not operate in normal condition. And this normal condition would take into account any specified duty cycles for the operation.